All right, next level. Is that Orca one? It's super short. I might do one for duality today as well, because it's so short. Uh, let's do it. This would be a really good level for someone who's like just picking up custom maps. Um, uh, this is like Iowa difficulty. It's, it's a pretty pretty easy one, but there's a bit of a cute secret at the end, so why not? Again, I just found this scrolling through Doom World. I do want to be more consistent with my uploads. I mean, I don't have, like, classes right now, so it should be easier to do. So basically the way this map works, it's a classic uh, two-direction setup. You can go either way, but at the end of the level, you have to explore both sides. I like going this way first because it gives me rockets. Yeah, this is the most precarious fight in the level for sure. Just because there is a cyber demon and there are revenant snipers. Revenants, I would say, are like by far the best monster to use if you're ever setting up uh, snipers. Uh, they're aggressive enough. So, actually, I'm going to pause for a second and talk about this. So. When monsters are set up as snipers and they bounce on walls often, they're more likely, or rather less likely, to do an attack. But revenants are far more aggressive than most monsters. So they're one of the few enemies who are still pretty aggressive when they're made as a sniper. And they're about the projectile. It's not just about blocking you. Which is why they work well here. Like, this is, again, not a very difficult level or anything, but it's good monster usage. You have pinkies to block you. You have revenant snipers. And there's a cyber demon there because you don't really have enough ammo. <clears throat> I was curious if this cyber demon had different health than a normal one. Because I'm kind of used to differently colored cybers having different health. And maybe that's just be literally just because of Fractured Worlds. I don't think I've played another WAD that had that. It might literally just be Fractured Worlds. Because I remember there was like this light blue cyber. Um, I, I, I would have kind of liked a, a super shotgun, in all honesty. I know sometimes, I remember, I think it was Nirvana, or one of the people he was interviewing one day, uh, they were saying how they don't really like when you get weapons in a weird order. I, I get it. <clears throat> like, why can't I have a super shotgun? <laughs> but there, there are times where I think it makes sense. I don't really think this is one of those cases. Like if you're in close quarters, um, which I'm, I'm going to be playing that map soon, and you're fighting lots of pain elementals, not having a shotgun can be like, oh, you need to use a rocket launcher in an unideal circumstance. You know, that's like a reasonable design choice. But here, I'm like, it's just, I still have a shotgun, so it's just slower that I'm not having the super. But outside of uh, getting my my super shotgun pretty late, I think this is a good level, and that arch vial specifically is, of course, why I took the rocket launcher route first. I guess it's my fault for getting the super shotgun late. 
I wanted the rocket launcher first, because the super is in this room. But if you did this room first, you wouldn't have nearly enough gear to fight that arch, arch file. You could do it. Um, and I think that would have been an interesting level. Say they give you the super shotgun right here, before that arch file. Can you fight him with just a super? I think that would have upped the difficulty quite a bit. So, you know, I, I still like how it turned out. So, okay, that's um, basically it. Um, we, got, we got some pain elementals here, but <clears throat> not, not, a, not a big issue. We can deal with them just fine. By the way, put, you know, put, in, the, put in the comments if you think uh, you'd like when Revenants have regular blood or when they have sparks because they are skeletons right hypothetically they shouldn't really have blood they're skeletons and I, i'm playing a wad now that uses the uh spark on revs and it, it's a cool detail yes however i kind of don't like it because when I see sparks, I'm thinking, oh, I made a mistake. I'm, I shot a wall. But then when I see blood, you know, at least I'm hitting a monster. So, personally, I, I prefer the uh, very mechanics-oriented method there, or the aesthetics. Oh, I didn't even talk about this secret. So there are two... Okay, there, there are two secrets here. One is to the left, that switch I just pressed. And the other is up on the right. And you have to climb up the, the stairs or something. That little jump I did. And if you hit both of them, then you get both of these little platforms. And we get... It's actually not a hard fight. I just did it really badly. And it's also why I was saving a lot of my rockets. There's two arch files and a revenant. Again, really good use of a few amount of monsters. Um, you know, this wasn't, like, the most complex level, but it has a lot of, like, really good design decisions. So once you get that yellow key, you can go to, well, the secret exit, and you get this little text, and it says rain. If you don't get the secret exit, I think it says, like, death or something. Let me see. Warp 2. Decline. A as far as I can tell, I can't tell a difference between these two maps. I think there... No! There's a little bit of difference. Look at that. Our flower is, uh... It's got some little yellow in it. That, that's a nice touch. Well, not yellow. Uh, that's green. That's... That's green. That is not yellow. So, see, this is on the regular map too. If you beat it normally, you just get the gray plant. But if you beat the secret exit, then you get a little bit of a green plant. And that's that's a nice little touch. Um, especially for such a small... You know, it's only one level, and you get this nice little special ending. Um, I remember... Uh, was it... I'm always talking about Fractured Worlds, am I not? Fractured Worlds did the same thing. Um, I, I appreciate it when they do it. When they do that sort of thing. Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, that's, that's that. 